In space news this morning, time is almost up for the Peregrine spacecraft. So it was supposed to be the first U.S. mission to land on the moon in over 50 years, but it suffered a critical fuel leak just hours after launch last week. Engineers tried to salvage some of the mission, getting the Peregrine as close to the moon as possible and testing some equipment. Now the spacecraft, which was developed and built for NASA by a private company, is designed for a fiery, is destined rather for a fiery death. It's on its way back to Earth, where it will enter the atmosphere and at that point burn up. That is expected to happen as soon as Thursday. A slide problem on Mars with the Ingenuity helicopter. NASA says it had to cut the latest flight short because of an issue with the navigation system. The tiny rotocraft flew about a third of its planned distance because the terrain was too smooth and they say it just confused the system. NASA says it's now making adjustments so the navigation is more sensitive. This was the 71st flight for Ingenuity and it's nearly three years on the Martian surface. It was only expected to fly five times, so it's far exceeded mm -hmm. what they were hoping. The future of high-speed air travel is here. NASA unveiled the X-59 quiet supersonic jet, and unlike previous supersonic jets, like the Concorde you may remember, for example, NASA says there will be no sonic boom. Mm. Instead, it will sound more like a thump when it passes the speed of sound. <laughs> there the we X go. The thump, there you go. The X-59 <laughs> is designed to fly at speeds up to 925 Woo. miles per hour. NASA expects the first test flight to take off from California later this week. Fascinating that they could cancel the sonic boom. How in the world mm -hmm. do they make it a thump? I should have said later this year. Not this week, uh, but soon enough they'll be testing. Oh yeah, I don't want to hear more about this. It's fascinating. What a beautiful aircraft. Coming up on